Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we broke out of Valua, and we managed to steal ourselves the flagship of the Valuan Empire, uh, the most powerful ship that's ever been constructed. Now, because we've done that, we have a lot to do. Also, I was just checking out our money. Uh, we have 169. Nice thousand gold um okay sure <laughs> that's insanity we we're about to come up to a part of the game in a minute without spoiling too much that's meant to bankrupt us it's meant to be a little bit of a bottleneck and uh, you're supposed to be a bump in the road for progress for a while because you need to pretty much spend every penny you have um, to do something. Something very cool, I might add. But I'm, we can afford it, like, easy. But we, that's without even selling all of our valuables and our treasures. What? Uh, um, okay. I think we've done a little bit too much grinding. Anyway, let's continue. Let's explore the ship. have a little bit of a nose around let's see what we're working with here it's a very fancy ship it's uh it's a little bit bigger than the the little jack you know a little bit bigger a little bit more fancy a little bit more you know gilded edges and and, and gold leaf adorning the place jewel encrusted deck it's uh it's really something anyway let's have a nice long look around well, it's not exactly Metal Gear Solid 3, but it's a long ladder. Let's see where this goes. Okay. Ooh. There's our friend. Can we... Are these storage lockers? These are not storage lockers. Okay, I like these. It's a talking tube, just like the ones we used on the Albatross. Uh, this one is probably connected with the bridge. Hey, Vase. Is this... Oh, hey, Vase. This is Gilda from the bridge. Where are you at? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm on the crow's nest. There's all sorts of emergency supplies in this box. Even on a ship as powerful as the Delphinius. Emergencies do happen, I suppose. This is the lookout tower. All we need now is a competent lookout. Yeah, this is the problem. We have a massive ship. Uh, in a lesser RPG, that would just be that. But in this one, we actually have to go get a crew, like I said. And it's really cool. Um, most of the crew, the overwhelming majority of the crew, is totally and utterly optional. But they do make the ship better. So we're going to be getting all of them. Now, I, some of them are, are quite cryptic to get, I believe. But I don't think when I originally played this that I got all of the crew because guides weren't really a thing you couldn't just google stuff back then um, guides like that were very much in their infancy hey Marco swab them decks lad that's what we like to see these decks will be so clean you'll be able to eat off them good lad they already look pretty pretty clean but Right. Oh, look at that. I mean, the ship designs in this game are a little bit weird, to say the least. But, you know, I'm not sure what I think of a lot of them. Um, they look a little bit toyish for my like, I think. Uh, I mean, that's a personal preference thing. But the Delphinius, this thing looks awesome. This thing looks really freaking cool. And Fina. So this is the deck, and above that door is the bridge. Uh, yep. That's true. It's a talking tube. Okay. Hey, Vase, this is Gilda from the bridge. Where are you at? Uh, I'm on the deck, apparently. Now, come on. Apparently there's a cham here as well, which is curious. Let's go feed the cham straight away, because why not? We've got the chums. Hey, we've got one cham. That's cool. People, enjoy yourself, dude. Okay. Now, you'll notice 
Uh, we still have Gilda. Okay. Right, let's go. Unfortunately, we're going to be losing Gilda soon. And uh, but from what I can remember, we don't get Gilda back. He doesn't die or anything. We just uh, He just, you know, moves on. Anyway, what's through this door? Is this the captain's quarters? No. Look at this. This is fancy. It looks like a picture of a bunch of merchant ships lined up in a harbour. This was probably painted by someone who really likes ships. Wow, Vase. Wow. Delphinus. Maybe nice and all, but I really miss a good sailboat. Yeah. Well. I think we're a little bit beyond sailboats. They might be nice, fun, relaxing cruise ships, but... For war, we need something a little bit more practical. And look, there's a lot of glass on this ship. This place is great. It's even got a kitchen. I think I'm going to like it here. <laughs> yeah, I think you're going to like it here too. Uh, talking of kitchens, we need a, a chef. And I know just the person. We've already met her before. wonder if she'll take the job. Okay, is that it? So there's the kitchen. I don't think we can actually... Nah, we can't go in and explore the kitchen, sadly. But yeah. Yeah, this is really cool. This was a very unique RPG. Um, having your own ship to run around on and all that kind of stuff. I don't know of another RPG like that, but... You know, Mass Effect, I guess. But it's not really the same sort of thing, is it? So that's back out to the deck. So, that's to the bridge. That's to the lookout tower. Is that everything? I feel like there should be more. But maybe not. Gilda. Yeah, maybe not. Well, I don't know where the crew compartments are or anything like that. But unless these are the crew compartments. Okay. Anyway. Hey there, Vase. Have you finished looking around the ship? There's something I need to talk to you about. Uh, I've pretty much seen everything I wanted to. What did you want to talk to me about? Well, actually... I'm leaving. I'm going to head back to meet up with the Claudia. What? I figured this is probably my only chance to escape from Clara. Oh. I don't think I'm ready to settle down just yet. Sure you are. You guys make a really cute couple. <laughs> Faze, don't even joke about that. <laughs> alright, alright. Sorry, I couldn't resist. But seriously, we're going to miss you. Thanks. Before I go, I have three pieces of advice for you. First, you need to get a crew. A crew? Yes, with a ship this size, you'll need a lot of crew members to take care of the specific duties. Get a good watchman, a cook, a gunner. I'm sure there are plenty of skilled sailors out there who will join the fight against Valua. If you run into anybody who can help you, bring them aboard. The more crew members that you have, the better your ship will operate. This is true. Second, you need a base. You'll need a place to repair your ship, and your crew will need warm beds and warm meals every once in a while. Your father has his own base, right? You said it was on Pilot, uh, yeah, Pirate Island. Well, you'll need your own headquarters as well. What about that deserted island that I found you on? I believe it's called Crescent Isle. That island looks just about right. Why don't you head back there? Yes, we get to build our own base. Actually build it as well. This is... This is so... Freaking cool. And most of all, no matter what happens, never give up. I don't know if you've realised yet, but you've accomplished a lot so far, especially for someone of your age. You've escaped from the Valium Colosseum, you've crossed the South Ocean, found Ducat's treasure, defeated three of the Admirals of the Armada, took two of the Gigas out of commission, and escaped from the Grand Fortress. 
twice. For some reason, everyone seems to follow you, myself included, even though you're a little crazy. Actually, it's because no matter what happens, you never give up. Anytime something stands in your way, you never let it stop you. Your crew knows that you will always do everything in your power to protect them. I can tell by the way they look at you. And on this bridge, with this ship, you're going to sail around the world. You'll probably run into things ten times more dangerous than you've already faced, but no matter what happens, don't give up. If you follow my advice, you'll accomplish things that you never even dream of. Thank you. Oh, Gilda, where are you? <coughs> oh, no, it's Clara. Sorry, Vase, can't stay and chat any longer. She'll catch me and it'll all be over. <laughs> so long, Vase. I hope to see you again someday. Usually sail around in search of fun. But the time I've spent, I spent sailing with you was probably the most fun I've ever had. Keep it up, kid. Oh, we'll be seeing him again. Don't worry. Thanks for everything, Gilda. <coughs> oh, God. Oh, Vase. Hey, Vase, did you see Gilda run off in such a hurry? Oh, why did Gilda run off in such a hurry like that? Ah, uh, he said that he was going back to the Claudia. What? Well, I've got to catch him right away. He's not getting away from me that easily. <laughs> well, it looks like Gilda's going to need more luck than me. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that, Vase. I can't believe it. I'm finally the captain of my own ship, and the Delphinius is quite a ship. Yeah, you could say that. Alright. Let's go. Full speed to Crescent Isle. Yeah, we could go Crescent Isle. So, Gilda has left the party, but we've now got Enrique. Uh, now, this is our final crew, from what I can remember. Unfortunately, Enrique is a little bit weaker than everybody else, but that's okay. In truth, the Delphinius has not yet been completed. The hull hasn't been fully reinforced yet, so it'd probably be impossible to f uh, fly through the stone reefs at this point. And the engine's output settings haven't been properly adjusted yet either, so we probably won't be able to fly through sky rifts. However, if we can find some way to fix the hull and the engine, I'm sure sky rifts and stone reefs would pose no problem for this ship. Yep, I like the way our UI has changed now as well to reflect the ship we're in, which is really bloody cool. Anywho, while we're in the vicinity... Oh, what's that? Oh, should we go test this beast out? Oh, actually, before we do that, remember all those captain stripes that we've been saving? Now, the little jack had 10,000 health. This thing's got 36,000. A little bit more. Armed with prototype cannons. Very nice. And the moonstone cannon, of course. Uh, right. Let's go and equip. How do we use the captain stripes? Am I being thick? Probably be the answer to that. Item. Ah, uh, Captain Stripes. Oh, they're in the ship compartment, aren't they? The ship tab. Yes, of course they are. I know what I'm doing. So. Oh, each one of these gives 2,000. So we've just increased our hit points by... 8,000, which is almost another little jack worth of uh, armor, which, you know, that's not bad. Let's be fair, that's not bad. Okay, let's go. Let's go test out our new ship, shall we? Oh, look at that. Do not underestimate the power of the ship. We've got a magic cannon on board. Prepare to face the wrath of the Armada. Yeah, that's... That's real cute, man. That's really cute. Uh, let's... Go for... Some gear grease. Get some abilities. 
more gear grease, and then we're going to use the prototype cannons twice. Let's see what this little tugboat does. Oh, it missed. Oh. <laughs> like, dude, seriously? You got some brass balls on you, I'll give you that. I don't even think this that little thing's worth. Ah, you missed as well. I don't think that thing's even worth the shot of the Moonstone Cannon. I mean, maybe. Who knows? Looks like a little toy. Ooh, yeah. One third of its health gone in one attack. Now this might do a little bit more... N okay, no, not really. Barely scratched the paint. Awaiting orders, you say? Alright. Let's give him another broadside. Half health. Ah, uh, we can't use the Moonstone Cannon, sadly. But that's fine. Uh, we could defend, but there's really not a lot of point in defending, to be honest. Uh, that should kill it. Did we miss? Ah, it's behind us. Son of a bitch. He's tickling our back passage. Small cannon. Literally the smallest cannon. Yeah. Another shot and that thing's done. Ah, oh, son of a... Need to get those guns calibrated. God damn it. Don't actually know where the torpedo launchers are. I can't remember where they are on this thing. Oh, they're on the front. I see them. It's like a submarine. You're done, son. Now, was that worth the five minutes? Probably not. Very much doubt we're going to get anything for that. Yeah, paltry amount of gold and a bomb. Okay, well, with that out of our system, that's a bit of a shakedown test. Oh my god, like, barely even scratched this thing. Uh, you know, not that I'm surprised. Let's go for equipment. Not equipment, is it? It's items. Uh, let's patch up the ship. Actually, we don't need to patch up the ship because we're just about to go to... Right, okay. So what we're going to do, because this guy's pretty weak, we're going to use all of our seeds and things on him. Uh, so that increases max MP by one. He's got how much? Oh, he's got 14 MP, actually. Who's got the least amount of MP? Vase, actually, which is not that surprising. But it's not that, not that far behind, is he? Uh, not really going to use spells with Vase that much. Probably better off using them on with Fina, but Fina's got nearly 26. You know what? All right, so phase. Eat your seeds, buddy. Uh, increase MP. Sure. Take it up to 14. All right. Now, Enrique. What other seeds can we feed you? Uh... Zao seed, right, so that will increase your vigor. Not sure what vigor actually does. But I guess we'll just give it to you. Increases power. Now, uh, Enrique is a sword fighter, so that's not a bad idea to use that on him. Uh, and increases your quick as well. So, yeah, we we'll use quick. Right, any more seeds? Isol seed increases your will. Will's your spell power, I think. So I might just give that to Fina. I could give it to Enrique, I suppose. But Fina is the magic wielder, so... Yeah, give it to Fina. Anything else? Oh, Viddle Seed. Increase your max HP by 30. 
Yeah, that's probably worth going to Enrique because his HP is really low for a frontline fighter. Uh, right. Yeah, we've got some things to sell. Which we're going to go sell. Right, let's go back to Sailor's Island before we do anything. Ah, our friend over here with the fish. I think that's him. Hey, buddy. Remember us? Should have a few more moonfish to give. Hi. Hi. I see you've caught some moonfish. Here, let's feed the little critter. You're on them. Can't remember how many moonfish we have now. Hmm. We know that thing's getting big. Now, what have we got this time? Ancient Bracer. Oh, okay. That's better than nothing. Eh, hey, we've still got some moonfish. Put another one in. It looks like something out of Sonic. Something you'd find in the Chow Garden. Alright, what have you got for me now, buddy? Magilex Idol. I don't know what that is. I think it might be something for this ship. Oh, hello. Thank you. Thank you for bringing these fish for me. Oh, she spoke. <laughs> for you, Maria, it's no problem at all. <laughs> Look at the thing in the background. What? It, I mean, come on. Throw that thing overboard. Seriously. It looks dangerous. Okay. So we've got her to actually speak. If it's moonfish you want, just leave it to me. I'm going to bring you more uh, than you'll ever need. Thank you. Hey. Nice. A breakthrough. Thank you, Vase. Maria is slowly becoming herself again. I owe everything to you. I don't know what to say. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really do. Ah, oh, come on, Doc. Don't get all teary-eyed on me. I'll just keep gathering fish to make her happy, okay? You know, you remind me of a man I used to work with. He was a lot like you, honest, kind, the kind of guy that everyone likes. Well, he was a little more refined than you, though. His name was Ra ah, his name was Ramirez. I hear that he's been promoted the, to the position of Admiral in the Valiant Armada now. Ramirez? Huh? You guys know him? Well, more or less. Doc, can you tell us what you know about Ramirez? Uh, sure. Ooh. It was a long time ago, back when I was still working for Admiral Mendoza. Mendoza! <laughs> Halo flashbacks. Uh, in the Valuan Armada. We were sailing around mid-ocean when we encountered a ship of the likes we had never seen before. And aboard that ship was Ramirez. He was an odd fellow, to say the least. I distinctly remember the clothes he had on. Very unusual. But Ramirez turned out to be as intelligent as he was good with a blade. Admiral Mendoza grew to like him rather quickly. Admiral Mendoza saw that he had potential and began training him to become an officer of the Valuant Armada. He had high hopes for him. We were all surprised at how little he knew about the world, but he was so honest, so sincere that everyone loved him. And I too was glad to have a crewmate who seemed trustworthy, someone I could call a friend. Hmm. Something changed then. Ramirez, from this day forth, you are a member of the Valuant Armada. Hold your chin high. Ah, oh, they look so happy. Not bad for a trio that's about to burn the world to the ground. Thank you very much for all your help, my lord. Way to go, Ramirez. I always knew you'd make the cut. Thank you too, Doctor. Oh, come on. You can stop calling me Doctor all the time. Everyone just calls me Doc. <laughs> you two never change. I just want to let you know, you two are like sons to me. The sons I never had. I hope I can count on you as my right-hand men. Yeah, as we burn the rest of the, you know, planet to ash and crush innocent people beneath our boots. <laughs> my lord, ye be, uh, 
You're being a little greedy there, aren't you, my lord? Already has two s lovely daughters of his own, and yet he wants sons too? <laughs> That's not what I mean. All I'm saying is that you two can count on me as you would a father. Oh, Jesus. My lord, thank you. I do not know... You do not know how much that means to me. So, something obviously happened. Who would have thought that Doc and Ramrez used to be buddies? Alright, Maria, I hear you. I'll be there in a second. Baze, please feel free to come by and visit whenever you want. I'm sure Maria and her little feathered friend will be happy to see you. But don't forget to bring more moonfish with you. I'm sure there's plenty still out there somewhere. Yeah. Wait, do we not have any more? Do we only have two extra? Do we not have any more moonfish? Uh, where would the moonfish be? Would they be here? I'm not sure. I guess we can go and have a look. How are things going? Did you catch any moonfish? Maria's counting on you. Make sure you bring back a bunch of moonfish for Maria's little friend. So basically, they won't even entertain us if we don't have any uh, moonfish. Thanks. Anyway, let's go to Sailor's Island. Wow, we're almost out of time here. <laughs> oh, God, it feels good to be back here, doesn't it? Oh, man. Let's go check out the Sailor's Guild. Can't remember if there's anything that we need to hand in. Baze, the darling. Of course I've heard of you. Everybody's been talking about your exploits. Welcome to the Sailor's Guild. Oh, uh, uh, cool, I guess. Nope, we've got nothing to sell. Do you have any info to buy? Nope, we're pretty much all caught up. This is good. Uh, we can have a look at the wanted list, but not yet. Yeah, we know. Cool, fair enough. Oh. It's a message from the Angel of Death. Sounds like you're in trouble. Better watch your back out there. Um, We could potentially go after her again. Maybe. I think Ramir, uh, I think Enrique needs a little bit more training first. Um, right, anyway, let's go and see Polly. Talk to everyone else first. Female sailor, this island is a gathering spot for sailors and traders. Keep your ears open and you'll hear all sorts of interesting rumors and information. Yeah, I bet. Every time I come back to Sailor's Island, my first stop is always Polly's place. Her cooking is just so good. Ah, it all, all it takes is one meal and I feel totally refreshed for my next journey. No matter what it is. Well, I'm about to ruin your life, mate. Hello there, Mr. Vase. Haven't seen you in a while. Welcome back to Polly's place. You should drop in more often whenever you're in the neighborhood. Yeah, well, I've been a bit preoccupied in jail and all that lot. So, you kids are recruiting new members for your crew. Well, you've come to the right place. They don't call it Sailor's Island for nothing. I'm sure you'll find plenty of candidates for your crew. Actually, Polly, we were wondering if maybe you'd like to join our crew. We'd be delighted if you'd come with us and be our cook. You're probably the best cook we know. What? You want me to be your cook? This is a joke, right? Well, ever since the sailor that I married got shipwrecked during one of his voyages to the east. Mm. I've had to make ends meet by running this tavern with my only daughter, Anne. And I can't suddenly just pack up and leave. Why not, mother? Go ahead. Go. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. You've always said... Mother, that you wished you had a ship so you could go and look for father. Oh, uh, if father's who I think, I got some bad news for you. But he might not be, I don't know, I can't remember. I don't even remember my father's face. You know, if anything, do it for me. Go find father and bring him home. Don't worry about the tavern. I can take care of things while you're away. Anne. Thank you, Anne. I will find your father and bring him home to show him what a wonderful daughter he has. I promise. Yeah, I hope he's not a pile of bones on a certain island somewhere. Well, I guess this is it then. If you're serious about your offer, I'll be happy to join. Nah, only joking. 
don't have a new ship. Leave the ship's galley to me. I'll cook up lots of tasty food loose, loaded with nutrition. There we go. Polly has joined your crew as a cook. So, second crew member, Polly. Yeah. Uh, don't worry about the tavern. I can take care of it. I don't have tw your 20 years of experience. 20 years? Mmm. Somebody else was on an island for 20 years. Yeah. Oof. I don't have your 20 years experience as a tavern keep, but I do have nearly 10 years experience as a waitress. I know everything I need to know about how to run the place. Yeah, 10 years. That's, that's still a, a lot of experience. Anyway. Did you hear? A Valuman prince has been kidnapped by air pirates. You'd think a prince would be well protected inside the Empress's palace. Nobody can figure out how they managed to pull it off. I wonder. Word is that the Nassar capital, Nasrad, has been attacked by the Armada and reduced to ruins. I used to know quite a few merchants in Nasrad, Osmond among others. It worries me when I think about their well-being. Yeah, we need a gunner, don't we? Yeah, wasn't there that really talented gunner in um, Nassar? Hmm, I'm sure he would like a bit of uh, revenge. Yeah. You're asking me to join your ship's crew? I only join crews when the owner of the ship is willing to pay me what my skills are really worth. I want 10,000 gold. Get me the money and I'll come aboard. Alright. 10,000 gold, you say? Alright, I'll pay. You gave 10,000 gold to Lawrence. Good. We have a deal then. Hey, Lawrence joined your crew as a helmsman. Yeah, he's really good, apparently. Well, we've just paid him up a lifetime, so... Um, anybody else here? We've got Lawrence, we've got Polly. I think there's someone else that we can get here to. I think. Hey, it's Vase. You're so lucky. Uh, you get to have people call you Vase the Darling. I wish that somebody would call me Darling. Yeah, I bet. Right, let's buy and sell ship parts. Uh, there's... I don't think anything here really that's going to... Buff us that much. Engine cover, maybe. I mean, they are marginally up, margin upgrades. Really, not. It's not really. Mm. I don't think it's really worth it. Um, right. So, what can we sell here? Ah, one of the three lost sacred figures that Pinter is looking for. Pinter. I might hold on to that for now then. A valuable treasure sought by uh, Bane. Okay, we'll sell that. What else can we sell? Aura of Valor? Hmm. Sacred stone that boosts the spirit of the entire party to heroic levels. Might hold on to that. A valuable treasure sought by Bane. Yes, we'll sell that. What else have we got here? Soul crystal. Sell the soul crystal. Well, we've nearly made... Ooh, and the unholy dagger. We made back our money. So that's something. And we do have... We don't need these anymore, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure, yeah, these two things are out of date now. So sell those. Anything else? Deloco mail? Yeah, this stuff here is all out of date. So flog all of this. We need as much money as we can get our hands on. That's for sure. Right. Got a lot of just crap here as well. We'll keep one of everything. Just in case. Always nice to have options, I suppose. 
And considering that's 500 gold for very little work. When I say very little work, I mean no work at all. Uh, right. Ooh. Yep, sell three of those. Black map. Wow. Yeah, that was worth it. Uh, counter bracer. Yeah, we'll sell one of those. Wind gem. Nice. We've only got one white map, though. Okay. Ooh. Alright. Sell that. Okay, that's a little bit better. Now, what else do we have here? So, the G type cannon. Cannons used on Armada ships. They slightly outdated but powerful. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. All of this stuff is totally out of date compared to what we have. I will check that and if need be, sell it off camera though. Okay, so we've got nearly 200k. Now, to get one of the titles, we actually need to get 100k. Hey, dude. Hey, is that one of the guys on the wanted list at the Sailor's Guild? Uh, let's avoid him for now because we don't have time for that. Yeah, we'll leave him for now. Word is that somebody blasted a huge hole in the gate of the Grand Fortress. They're saying the same guy who escaped from the Valley of Before is the one who's responsible for it. Man, it's too incredible. Right. Oh, Jesus, we're on, nearly on 40 odd minutes. I guess we better go save it, I suppose. Seems like the right thing to do and call it a video there. Ah, this game. We've got so much to do now. So many different things, but we'll start cracking with that in the next video. So thank you very much for watching, guys. When we come back, we're going to get more crew and possibly start setting up our island. Till then, thanks for watching.